Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our lecture today is about hyperbolic actinemia. This is the objective of the lecture. Student, uh, what is most to know and what is nice to know? What is hyperprolactinemia? Hyperprolactinemia is defined as the elevation of a prolactin hormone which is secreted from the anterior pituitary glands. So that when we said hyperprolactinemia, we need a lab test. Uh, excessive uh, secretion or breast uh, secretion is called collectoria and it is different from, different from hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactinemia means elevated serum prolactin. So serum prolactin may mean that we need a lab test. Mild, moderate when it is about 26 to 100 microgram per liter. Severe form when it is more than 100 microgram per liter, which is uh, suspicious for prolactinoma, i.e. brain tumor. Normal level of prolactin in the blood, it is about 10 to 25 microgram per liter. When a uh, woman it is not pregnant or not lactating, while in men it is about 5 to 10 microgram per liter. Hyperprolactinemia is the commonest pituitary cause of amenorrhea. To uh, differentiate uh, hyperprolactinemia from galactoria, galactoria refers to the secretion of a milk fluid from the breast occurring either spontaneously or with a manual expression in the absence of a pregnancy or uh, postpartum state. How regulation of prolactin secretion occur in the body? We can then see that it is the that is the part is the pituitary gland. Here we have the anterior pituitary and this is the posterior pituitary loop. The uh, prolactin secretion from the anterior, anterior pituitary part of the brain. The prolactin, it is under the, uh, predominantly under the suppression effect of uh, dopamine. So dopamine has an inhibitory uh, negative effect on the anterior pituitary gland. When we lost dopamine, prolactin will be secreted. Thyroid releasing hormone has a, a stimulatory signals. Also, we have estrogen has a stimulatory signals. So that when we have a problem uh, in one of these, the uh, secretion of the prolactin from the body will be affected. When we lost the uh, dopamine, or when there is excessive thyroid stimulation hormone, or there is a hyperstimulatory effect of an estrogen, then dopamine will be prolactin will be released in the body. Add to that renal uh, clearance when be it will be affected in the body. Also, the prolactin stay in the body and will not be will not, the body will not get rid from this excess uh, prolactin. So that we need an intact renal system because the prolactin cleared from the body through the renal system. From that, we can understand the causes of hyperprolactinemia. It is either a physiological cause, which is idiopathic, maybe if patient have a pregnancy, postpartum because she will be lactating, sleep, it is also depicted in sleep, stress, major surgery, and intercourse. Hypothalamic condition, such as craniopharyngioma, tuberculosis, cystic glioma, pituitary condition, these causes will, these things will cause, uh, will uh, uh, affect the anterior pituitary gland and will affect the uh, prolactin secretion in the body. The pituitary condition, Acromegaly, uh, Addison disease, Cushing syndrome, hypothyroidism, pituitary adenoma, which is either micro or microadenoma, and metastatic tumor. So, uh, either we have a problem in the hypothalamic or a problem in the pituitary gland 
uh, that uh, will affect the secretion of prolactin uh, from the anterior pituitary gland and then after that it will affect the whole body. Metabolic dysfunction, hepatic cirrhosis and renal failure. Drugs, these drugs will affect the secretion of the dopamine in the body and then when it is affect the secretion of dopamine as an uh, inhibitory factor for the dopamine so that the negative effect of the anterior pituitary gland which is uh, occurred through the dopamine which is affect uh, the secretion of the prolactin will be lost so that the prolactin will be released uh, and uh, effect will cause its effect in the body. This is are the sample of these drugs such as methyldopa, cymetidine, antidepressants such as imipramine, and uh, metaclopramide. This is a famous phenothiazine. Clinical presentation for this patient: the patient may be present with either the amenorrhea or galactorrhea, or disturbance of the menstrual cycle, menstruation, or infertility. And some of them have a, a, a loss of libido or some or, uh, like these things. Investigation, how to investigate this patient? Uh, 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 review the uh, history of this patient. We should, uh, history is very important in patient with hyperprolactinemia. We should uh, ask the patient if the patient have any of uh, risk factor of hyperprolactinemia. And we should exclude uh, the physiological cause, uh, such as if, if the patient have any stressful condition and have life. If the patient uh, pregnant or in postpartum, especially these ladies which uh, delivered a stillbirth uh, baby uh, and uh, still uh, the breast ex uh, uh, secrete uh, milk. And uh, we should look also uh, for a history of a drug uh, if the patient uh, have uh, uh, taken for a long term such as antidepressant drug or take uh, cymetidine or she had a problem that uh, she needed to put nausea or vomiting metaclopromides. So this also uh, will affect the execution of dopamine and then will uh, the patient will present with hyperprolactin. Uh, after we finish all the history, we exclude the physiological cause, we exclude the uh, drug history of the patient have a sign of symptom of uh, space oxyobiotic uh, tumor in the brain, such as we have uh, uh, such as uh, diplopia or uh, tunnel vision, uh, uh, all uh, these uh, histories. Then uh, we send the patient uh, for a prolactin level, serum prolactin level by radioimmune assay, and we can we also should send her for thyroid stimulation hormone for assessment of the thyroid function, it is which will also will affect the uh, function of uh, uh, the action of uh, prolactin secretion. X-ray of uh, the for the cell torsica to see any destruction by macroadenoma or pituitary glands. CT scan and MRI for diagnosis of the patient pituitary tumor. If we have any suspicion from the patient history that he has uh, pituitary adenoma. The treatment uh, simply we treat the patient uh, medically. Whether it is have a micro or macro adenoma, that is mean that uh, if the brain tumor is uh, large, more than one centimeter or small, we can start both for macro and micro adenoma with medical treatment. Medical treatment with dopamine agonist promocryptine, which is the name, uh, trend name Parlodil, started with the lowest dose, then increased gradually. She, uh, this uh, Parlodil have a side effect, nausea, vomiting, nasal congestion, uh, and the patient will feel uh, dizzy. Um, she may develop a fainting attack. The alternative for uh, Pardodil, we have a gabapentin, which is called known that as a Dostinex, giving it twice weekly. This is for uh, microadenoma or simple cells of uh, simple uh, hyper hyperprolactinemia. We have also for patient with microadenoma uh, uh, of the pituitary gland. Initially, can be treated also by medical treatment. Uh, according to, uh, we should assess the size of the tumor. If uh, persist or causing visual defect, then a neuro neurosurgery will be done. So that when uh, for all these patients with hyperprolactinemia, we should start with uh, uh, and uh, uh, dopamine uh, agonist, 
uh, such as uh, Parnagier or Dostinex given for this patient. The failure of this uh, medication or if the patient have a macroadenoma and she start uh, patient develop uh, diplopia or uh, she have uh, a pressure symptom, headache, severe headache, then you shift for a neurosurgery. So the surgery, which is tri transspinoidal adenectomy, uh, it has an indication uh, when the patient develops drug resistance, failure to shrink of macroadenoma, into lymphocyte effect of the drug, and supracellular extension of the tumor, and pressure effect. This is a scheme. Uh, simply summarize all our lecture. You can look for this scheme, and then we can discuss uh, this lecture later on uh, at the time of the discussion in the uh, which will be there uh, inshallah uh, if there's any comment or any question i will be ready thank you very much for your listening